So we're starting off now in the beautiful gardens of the, I can say this one, oh look at my hair, I can say this one, it's the Balturas de San Diego. I probably completely <laughs> said that wrong but I'll have a look at the sign again so we can have a look. This is the absolutely beautiful gardens here. Well, as we saw just now, there's a giant rubber tree, which I didn't know that's where rubber came from, which is pretty interesting. Let's check this out. It's being attacked by little pieces of unrefined rubber. So this is, sorry, let me just fix myself. So this place is the oldest fort here in Manila. Um, from what I saw on the sign, it was taken during the, was it Seven Years War? If I'm wrong, I'll put some more information on the screen here. The Seven Years War taken by the British. And after that point, I think it was sort of left dilapidated for a very long time. Um, just have a look at this though, it's absolutely beautiful. So this is a lesser known sort of fort to visit here in Manila. It's uh, popular for a lot of locals to come here after their wedding for celebrations. So it's a popular spot there that people like to come to. But this place was actually, it ended up buried underground and I think once the Americans came, then it was excavated. Now it's turned into a beautiful park. We've got this nice fountain here. Some of the lilies. And one of the interesting things, which we're about to go and have a look at now. So I mean, look at the roof. Sorry, I keep getting, I get distracted a lot. I'm like a, like a puppy dog. What, are they, what would you call that? Would you still consider that a gazebo or is that too big? But check this out, ready? An old, old cannon. Not very well maintained, but beautiful nonetheless. So we've got here in the back is where you would load all the gunpowder. Don't know what all that stuff does. Then you've got this huge, huge opening here at the front, which is in there you would load the cannonball. And then somebody would come, like literally with fire on a stick and light it up to shoot the cannon. Which is pretty interesting, pretty cool. So we're gonna go up to the top of this tower part, but we're gonna have a look at this first. There we go, so destroyed during an earthquake in 1863 and the ruins remained filled in until the occupation by the United States in 1905, which after that it was excavated and restored. So this place where we're standing right now was actually underground for a very, very long time. So the fort itself is, I think almost 500 years old, falling down the stairs, almost 500 years old, but uh, it was only re excavated, I think, in the 80s so this is the sort of climax area have a look at that oh it's a bit gross you can see in there it's all full of moss wow this place so this is exciting actually i didn't think there was going to be so much up here a lot of these forts <laughs> and these places that we're going to today, you gotta to be careful because like all of the rocks you can see down there, absolutely all covered in moss and they're usually very slippery. So I think I've almost fallen over about six times trying to do these videos today. But there's a little bit of a higher view of the area. And we're gonna go across this very dangerous looking 
fridge. Just look at that. It kind of reminds me of the um, Colosseum in Rome. I guess these all used to be underground spots for people to, you know, live and rest or whatever. And then there would have been a roof, not a roof, a floor on top of all of that, which the floor has long since caved in. I don't know if I can walk on that, so I'm not going to. Got some nice views, some treacherous walking, some blasting heat. Another beautiful day in the Philippines. I absolutely love this place. There's a nice big Filipino flag up there in the distance. Absolutely such a beautiful country. If it wasn't for the humidity, I would, no, I'll skip that part. Yeah, absolutely beautiful country, love it here. This will be the first of hopefully many, many, many videos here in the Philippines, first of many trips. We got the standard little, I still don't know if the right word for this is enclave, but you can imagine somebody standing here watching guard 500 years ago with their, I don't know, would that have been a bow and arrow back then? Or do you reckon they would have had a, a musket by then? Maybe a musket. But either way, would have been where they would come to, to guard. And it looks like we've got another one of these little guard towers. Let's go have a look. Just another quick look over at the park from here. And you see that wall. You know, it kind of feels like a, um, what's that video game? Uncharted. It kind of, it kind of feels like an Uncharted game. Yeah, it looks like another security guard booth. Well, hang on. Let's have a look inside. Got some keyboards writing on the walls. Probably not, probably not a good idea. You know, if you're watching. Don't come to a 500 year old fort and decide to draw on the walls. It seems a little bit, uh, not a very nice thing to do. Look at the view of the city from here too. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, I can see other people going and walking on the grass. So I'm also going to do that. There's, a lot of these. I don't know what this is. You can see that there. Now this one's full of rubbish, but perhaps, perhaps all these were here so that uh, maybe they would light fires in there to light this area up at night. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I might ask somebody. You can see another one there. They're sort of dotted all along here. And it's a nice view there. We're going to go. I've seen some people that have come and they're, um, they've gone up onto the side of the wall. So I think they've got the right idea. I'm going to follow them up. Have <laughs> a look at this. Watch out for flying golf balls. Maybe there's a golf course somewhere around here. So we better keep an eye out, just in case we get knocked on the head with a golf ball. There must be a golf course somewhere around here. So what we're going to do, you can see over here, there it is. A nice little wall to climb up on. So we're going to go have a look at that. You'll probably, I don't know, if, I've watched a lot of these videos back and it doesn't often look like I'm as dripping wet as I am. Which is good, I don't really want that, but... Ah, oh, that's beautiful. Have a look at this. Another little guard tower over there. Man, on top of the world, huh? That must be the golf course. But lucky for us, there is 
Nobody here today, so I'm not going to worry too much about getting hit in the head. Over there looks like there's some water. Hang on, I think this is going to be our... Uh, maybe we've got our thumbnail right here. How does it look? I don't know, I can't see right now. To save my camera's battery life, I've started to turn off the front screen while I'm wandering around. And it looks a little bit more subtle if the screen isn't on. The people stop looking at me like I'm an absolute weirdo. They just start looking at me like I'm a weirdo because I'm talking to myself. Not because like there's a screen and they can see what I'm filming and people get uncomfortable. It's, oh, it's a whole big thing. I don't know if you caught that. There's a huge bee. I'm a little bit scared. Like, oh shit. I'm not allergic to bees or anything, but I don't really want to go my day without, you know, the giant bee sting on my arm. So, I think we've just about explored everything that we can here. So I'm going to go and wander back down and try and find somewhere to go and dry off and get a nice cold drink. One last look at this place. From this other angle. I don't see any stairwells, so I don't know if they've been broken down over the years or what the deal is. I would make an amazing tour guide, wouldn't it wouldn't I, with my absolutely flawless information and my wealth of knowledge. Um, um, my wealth of sarcasm is probably more like it. Another little place around here, but it doesn't look like we can go in there. But yeah, before my camera overheats, which it is inevitably going to be doing soon, I will leave it here and we'll see where we go for the next location. See you soon. Now I've come back briefly. Check this out. Look at these old tiles. Just these old buildings just look so cool. And there we go, another golf course. A little bit less cool. Can we go down there? No, I don't think we can go down there. Okay, this time I actually mean it. I'm going. We're going to find our next location and... Oh, look at tree. Okay. <laughs> One more minute. Let's have a look. Look at this. It's like a swing made out of branches. I'd, I'd sit on it, but I might rake it, so let's not do that. Maybe if I was a thinner man, I'd give it a go. Okay. For real this time. I'm going. And I'll see you at the next one.